guess who's ready to be uh, speedrunning? Now, I'm probably not ready at all to be speedrunning this, because uh, I'm going to be honest, I haven't touched it in the, basically since the last time that I was live, because I've been sick for a number of weeks and it's, it's taken quite a lot out of me. But yeah, today's plan, no matter how it goes, is we are going to be taking third place on our little speedrun leaderboards. Now that's a bit of a leap, our current standings we're in 22nd place. So you think, how, how are we going to get third out of all this? Well, we're doing a different leaderboard. What we're going to be doing today is the glitchless leaderboard, which is pretty much 99% of what I do. There is only one glitch that I actually know how to do, which is the um, the door at the end of the Tengu boss rush. So yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty much there for a glitchless run. and. It's gonna be an easy third place, or maybe if I'm lucky, second place, because there's only two people are actually running this, and those are D Limes and House Test, and these those two guys are at the top of their game when it comes to speed running MGS2, playing against the big boys. Uh, hopefully my hour, my time does all right. I mean, I'm I'm going at like 120, 119. I'm probably gonna be okay. So yeah, let's just say screw it and get right into it. This is always the, the fun part. Just skip literally everything right at the start. I just want to get to the running. The amount of times I've just actually had to do that one little segment is actually unreal. Also, fun thing I didn't realize before, because I would always tranquilize that guy. I can just walk right past him. It doesn't matter. He is not going to do a thing, even this camera, even though we get an alert. Doesn't matter. Also, another camera where alerts don't matter. Like, th this is one of the weird things. It panicked me all the time. I'd just be speedrunning this and just being like, but there's alerts! Yeah, but th that's the point. It's very easy. The alert's clear as soon as you go into the next room. <laughs> glad to see me back at it. I'm glad to be back at it, honestly. Like, I think it was like a week after I'd done my last run, I was just sick and it sucked. I haven't practiced any of this, so what you're seeing is what you're getting. If I can loop her, this is amazing. Oh, please, 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 please. Okay, I missed one. That is probably the fastest Olga fight I've ever done. Did this not split? It bloody well didn't. I'll have to adjust that later, but yeah, that is... <laughs> I'm quite happy with that Olga fight. Right, I've got to remember to actually pick up the ammo this time. There we go. And get shot. Little bit of scuff in there, but hey. Get that guy to go on the radio. That way he doesn't just spot me and shoot me. Nice little trick that I've learned. It was another one of those guards that I used to just tranquilize all the time. We're just going to count up the alerts now. I'm so glad I got the timing on that guy. I've been spotted by him before. But I'm going to get the alert here. So basically when I go into... ...here... ...it will skip a little cutscene that... Well... I probably could have done with, um... Getting the caution a little bit earlier, but hey, we'll we just, we deal with this. It's fine. See, I've kind of got like a weird rule for myself when it comes to speedrunning now. I do not ever want to restart because, like, the sheer amount of resets that I would do when I was running GTA 5 a couple years back, I would just be playing the first section of the game over and over again. I'd be getting good at the first section, sure, but the rest of the game, who knows? Just realized I didn't pick up the ammo that was by the Door, but hey, <laughs> hopefully we can just blitz through this. Not. That could have been better. This split is doing some weird okay, shit. Let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get. There we go. 
I don't know why am I always split as being funky today? Why does stuff just always wait until you're streaming to just break? Like, I literally had to iron out a bunch of technical difficulties just before I hit stream. Because <laughs> for some reason, my capture card decided to glitch out. Of all things. <laughs> like, you spend enough money on a 4K capture card, you expect it to work. We just do the rolls. One of my favorite way of doing that. To do, there we go. I'm just setting up the auto split so it's actually looking at the right thing. That would probably help. Again, I need to learn like the camera placements on this. You know, we play it safe. We'll do. We, the Marine Corps, just realizing this is going to be a real hassle to um clean up. Oh, I just realized why my thing's not working. Because I had the wrong thing on. Oh my god. <laughs> I've broke it. We're fixing stuff on the fly here. Right, now I am actually looking at the right window for my voice split. This should work. <laughs> I'm super scuffed and we're not even like 12 minutes in. I think it's just like a curse when it comes to speedrunning. Like, I'll get a really good Olga fight. Everything else, no. No, you're not allowed. You get a bad run. <laughs> hey, can we get our elevator timing? I think we messed that one up a little bit. Oh, oh, we're good. Yeah, there's no problem there. Definitely gonna have to do a second run after this. Is this, this has been Uncle just <laughs> just full of mini mistakes. But hey, it's the first run in a while. It's gonna be full of mistakes. I'm kind of wondering if like. Out of all the mini mess ups at the start, I'll be able to just even it out later. Because I've done that a few times. I've been like, you know, 20 odd seconds away at the start, and then it just picks up later. Is the Stillman split gonna work? I'm actually just gonna look at my splits and make sure this thing works now. Fax. Yeah, this has just been a mess. <laughs> You know, as much as I do like the fact that I'm kind of learning these more risky ways of playing, it's probably better for me to just play it safe. Like, I'm not at any kind of high level of play at the moment. Would be nice, you know, if I ever get there. I'm only a couple of minutes off of, like, being a decent top level on the leaderboard. Right, can I remember the Claymore layout? <laughs> this is literally every time that I speed run this, I forget the layout. Huh? Got it. Mm -hmm. Somebody <laughs> did. The poor guard. Didn't have to land on him. This is another one that I still can't get the hang of. Because there's a position that you can get in that's like right behind that little vat, and you can freeze this bomb from the back. I can never get the positioning on it, so we just do it the old-fashioned way. Okay, I'm remembering in this little tutorial was grabbing the sensor first and then the bomb. Apparently that changes the dialogue or something? I don't know. There's some weird reason. Ah, uh, I see. It starts at, like, further in. Oh, oh my god. I'm not tired. I'm very tired. <laughs> well, we've managed to get at least one gold time in this. Good old fortune. Speaking of fortune, I actually uploaded another little short just before I went on there, detailing the uh, <laughs> the extreme playthrough where fortune killed me repeatedly. <laughs> she is way more threatening on extreme. Nah. I forgot I had the cartwheel under that one. Oh, for God's sake. How many other things can go wrong in this run? We're just making a list a mile long at this point. Hey, this is what happens when you don't practice your speed runs. Hey, can we get a good fat man at least? Hey. Okay. Come to me, there we go. Yeah, decent. I don't remember the thing on this. 
There we go. There's a tiny trick so you hold like down left on the D-pad and you actually avoid the bombs. It's just perfectly placed. Take you out because screw you. <laughs> I don't need to take him out. It's just fun. Elevator pound, please. Wait, it's B2, isn't it? Hello? Surprised I managed to squeeze past that guy. Why? I keep instinctively doing that to like skip cutscenes, it's not gonna bloody do anything. I can get you. There we go. Okay, I recognized. Alright, now we gotta find aims. Can we get some good luck? No, 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 no. Reporting no problems in the hall on B1. They tell me he's gonna be top right, top left again. Yep. Your aims, aren't you? Well, aims is dead. Oh, I screwed that one up. I screwed that one up, but I shot him before I called the elevator. Should have obviously done it the other way around. Right, now to get ourselves a PSG one. How many alerts can you get in one playthrough? Okay, now we're getting to the interesting part of the game. We've got the Harrier fight. The Harrier is surprisingly something I've got the most knowledge of. Just because I used to play almost exclusively this boss battle when I was little. So I'm somewhat good at it. I don't know if it's me, but it's just, it feels like I've got Colonel, a decade-long codec wait time at the moment. I know there's codec delay at the best of times on this. A few good hits in there. Ration, I thought you were going to give me ammo. Two more hits. You have to put the Kasatka in the way. Let you go out in style. Try dodging what the huh. Oh that's crap. Can we get a leap of faith and not screw it up? We got it. There we go. So already we're saving time because I didn't mess up the leap of faith. I'm so glad that platform was wide. I thought I'd missed it for a second. Oh no. Shit. Oh. Oh, so much for that time save. Oh, at least it drops me here. That's not too bad. Oh my god, press the elevator button, please. <laughs> this game does not like me pressing elevator buttons. I'm just not allowed. So much weird lore that you find out at the end of this. That's right. Like, the president wants to be a member of the Patriots, it but the Patriots are already dead. It's like this some weird shenanigans that have gone on in the Metal Gear universe. It's the segment where I just mash Y continuously. You can probably hear me mashing Y, actually. You know what? Can we get really, really, really lucky? Oh my god, we actually did it. I got the super fast vamp. That's a first for me. I mean, so far, we've had a good Olga. We've had perfect vamp, like, over in two seconds. Granted, Fortune kind of shafted us a little bit. But, like, in general, I think that's just given us a bit of a step up for time. <laughs> Yeah, just looking at the times, we've gone from 42 seconds over to 12 seconds under. Just from that vamp moment. See, what did I tell you earlier? Like, th this is... It's always going to be full of surprises. You could have a really crap start, but a good finish. See, now I know that I'm 12 seconds I under time. Like, I can 
actually go full concentration on this. Alright, it's still gonna be probably a trash time anyway because um, because we're aiming for glitchless it means I can't do the the door skip at the end of the Tengu guard rush. That's about the only the only skippy glitchy thing I know is that door. Back to swimming. Almost awful, honestly. It could have been really bad. Once Emma's life goes below the A in her name, then she starts getting really lazy. Elevator, please. There we go. First floor, please. I've gone the wrong way. Let's see what? It's just. You know, every time I think, you know, I'm doing good on time, then I do things like that. Why am I even using the D mic? God. Just making a mess of my inventory management here. Well, apparently, you can sneak past this guy and he doesn't actually notice. So that's good to know. Sorry if you can just hear all the traffic outside. So I've kind of just given up on using NVIDIA Broadcast for noise removal because it ended up cancelling out my... It would be like the start of a sentence would just be cut off. And it sucked. So yeah, as much as NVIDIA Broadcast is good for noise removal, it's also good for just being really crap. One more. And here's Snake. This is Snake. There we go. Paint a bit of strawberry jam on the wall, but we got him. On to the second pontoons. Yeah, I'm always surprised how very little there is in this area and very easy. Like, extreme, sure, you've got a lot of everything. But very easy, there is just nothing. See, this is the best kind of tune to be comfy to. I really love this part of the soundtrack. I mean, it's it's comfy until it's just interrupted by me just going... <laughs> Where's that last... There we go, there's the last cipher. Yeah, there's so many good tunes on the soundtrack. And one thing I am looking forward to is um, next week when the Master Collection comes out. I should be getting with that as like a... Like they've redone some of the some of the music. It's basically the like the ending themes for each game. So I can't remember what the what MGS one's one was. But MGS two is I can't say goodbye to yesterday. And honestly, the the remake of that is phenomenal. The remaster of the OST, yeah, it's like they've sort of done like an orchestrated version of. Can't say goodbye to yesterday and Snake Eater and where the MGS1 one was. So it sounds really good. It's kind of a shame that they couldn't like remaster the entire soundtrack for the game because that would have been incredible. But I still love just the, the music that Harry Gregson Williams did for the game. That's what it is. The best is yet to come. That's MGS1's ending theme. Yeah. Orchestra versions of all of those, it is so, so good. I really, really can't wait to just get the download of that. Also, one thing I'm slightly hyped for, it's probably a really small thing to be hyped for, is because I've pre-ordered the Master Collection, I can actually get a little pin badge that has like one of the Metal Gears on. Like apparently it's random, but if they manage to right. let me pick while I'm in the store, that'd be amazing. Because it's a pin badge of I oh crap. I don't know why I was looking for a weapon. I don't have anything. Yeah, the pin badge of Rex, Ray, or the Shagohod from each of the games. All the iconic songs are so good. Yes. Don't you dare. Oh. Thank you. I was actually able to just make the cartwheel. 
while it's being shot at. Right, this is the part I have to remind myself. Move the right stick. Because we're trying to do glitchless. It cannot do the door skip. I need to just like... <laughs> just hammer that into my brain. We gotta do this the hard way now. Is this it? There we go. Well, that's that's the Tengu boss rush without the skip that I usually do. There is a weird sort of strap for this segment. You just stand and like stare at the hallways where they come out of and just fire stingers at them repeatedly. It's like such a stupid way to get through this little fight. I hate that. It's literally like getting flashbanged. Game overs. Oh, I don't want to save. No. Oh. What do you hope to hear? God, it makes your hands cramp up doing that. Oh, I just realised something I'm not looking forward to. Is when I get to play MGS One on the Master Collection. Um, in the torch sequence, Ocelot says like, you know, don't think about using a turbo button because I'll know. And if you are actually using a turbo button, right. he will just kill you. Unfortunately, I mash buttons so fast that Ocelot will just kill me anyway. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to just, I'm gonna have to nerf myself when I'm playing MGS1. Super speed masher. Okay, I think one more around and should be good. There we go. So that soul is taken care of. And now we're in the unskippable territory. I should really have some kind of interactive thing during this segment. Because it does get really boring. It's a long nine and a half minutes. Alright, just checking on the speedrun leaderboards for Glitchless, which is what we've just done. Um, second place was 1 hour 22 minutes and 9 seconds. And our current pace is 121.33. So we've, we've beaten second place by a bit. <laughs> Yeah, I thought this was just going to be like a third place type run with how awful it's been. I'm going to do a, a second run on this though because that entire run was just full of so many mistakes and it was ridiculous. It feels kind of weird to say that I'm going to get a second place thing on a leaderboard because I mean I'm playing between D-Limes and House Test. These are two speedrunners that are basically at the top of Metal Gear Solid 2. Now granted, House Test's one, which is second place, he was playing it on PS3, so he's had the load times to deal with. It's been a pleasant surprise, this one. I really wish that they could just add a patch to the Master Collection that lets you skip credits. It would honestly be the best feature ever. <laughs> Probably just have it as like, you know, if it's your first playthrough, sure, watch the credits, they're unskippable. But New Game Plus, please, let me skip it. <laughs> Actually, one thing I'm really hoping is that they don't unintentionally make the credits longer. Because where this is now a port of a port of a port of MGS2, there's going to be more people to add to the credits. We're going to turn this into a 12 minute credit sequence. I think I was right saying it was a port of a port of a port. I was trying to like think, like, so we've got Sons of Liberty, the original game. Then it was ported to PC as Substance, so now we've got two. And then they took the PC port and made the HD collection, so now we're at three. And then the HD collection is now getting re-released on newer consoles as the Master Collection. <laughs> so yeah, four ports. That's a lot of porting. Well, three ports, technically. And mash our way to the last skippable bit. And get our time. 121.19. And my auto-skip didn't trigger. <laughs> Well, that was a decent run. But of course, we can do better than that. There's a lot of saves on here. To be honest, most of these saves are just me creating practice points, so I can just kind of jump in at a certain part of the run and just take off from there. It's not like I've run the game that many times. <laughs> it feels like I have, though. I think our auto split is actually going to work this time. Hopefully, we can get. At least a somewhat decent fight this time around. Last time was really good. Oh! 
Oh. She's gone to the shelving. I grew up on the Can we get a loop? And victory were my parents. The unit. Oh! We've shared everything. Bad, I've all been good. I have no nothing except the unit. Oh. See, I've messed it up now. You know what? Ah! <laughs> Hey crap. Still one and a half seconds quicker. <laughs> Just throw myself down the stairs. Okay, got the ammo this time, I remembered. Ah crap. <laughs> Okay, we do this the hard way. We're slightly harder. It's not that bad. <laughs> Glad I actually shot that. I didn't think I did for a second. We just dove headfirst into a load of Semtex. And then I ran out of ammo, didn't I? Crap. Really bad ammo management there. Oh no. Oh! I thought I was rolling right in front of that guy for a second. That was a bit squeaky. You now have made it to the best part of the game. Plant. Where Raiden doesn't have a clue what's going on. Poor Raiden. He's still got a few years before he becomes a badass. But this is just baby Raiden. Get ourselves our M9. Get caught on the box while we're there. It was a little bit better looking at my splits and actually seeing some decent times because I'm not having to fight the auto splitter this time around. <laughs> it's surprising that this game is literally five and a half hours worth of cutscenes. Probably longer if you include the codex. I thought I missed that for a second. Yeah, just wanna have that on swap. There we go. <clears throat> I'm like constantly having to clear my throat. It's like. I've kind of recovered from being sick, but obviously haven't completely cleared yet. Like, at least I'm not sniffly and snotty on stream. That'd be awful. Jeez, that felt like that took a while. Who's there? Nobody. It's a figment of your imagination. I feel like most of the time playing this, I'm just using the radar to actually guide myself around. I feel like half the time you can't really see ahead of yourself that often. Alright, I'm actually gonna get the right claymore run. <laughs> Please. So keep messing up the claymores. Okay. Who's there? I think it is quicker kneeling down. This is right. Probably make the habit of doing that. Hmm. Somebody there. Nope. Nobody there at all. Are you actually gonna lay down? Oh my god. Ryan wants to fight me. Strut B. Just got this and one more bomb to take care of. And him. He has been taken care of. <laughs> Sensor. There we go. That's all the C4 done. Now we've got to make our way to strut A. Making our way to strut A. <laughs> See, that's the way I should be doing it, is going from the north side. I keep doing the south side of the bridge while I'm coming back. Do I get that from here? No, I don't. Oh, crap. That's just split in the wrong place. Never mind. 
Colonel. I have to fix that one when I'm going through the splits later, but eh, at least it's roughly in the right place. It's the curse of using an auto splitter that uses image recognition. <laughs> to be fair, at least the auto splits, like the splits, don't really matter for most of this. It's just the whatever time we get at the end. Because the splits are just there for my learning. Shoot the barrel. Oh, I actually got it. She keeps missing that. It's really annoying. But that's pretty much it now. There it is. <laughs> Get buried under the rubble. That's nice that I accidentally set that off. Usually you set it off and then you go flying. <laughs> Too late, the subject got away. <laughs> I'm just gonna say screw it and just YOLO the Claymore mines, because I'm sick and tired of just getting it all wrong. I'll eventually memorize that thing, but yeah. For now, we'll just deal with it. <laughs> We're already making good time. That was a bit of an awkward one, but we got there. Oh, pick him up, please. This is the one thing I have actually picked up from the tutorials is skipping those little claymores there. Hmm? Oh shit. See? Problem solved. Crisis averted. <laughs> I'll get off the elevator panel for Christ's sake. Yeah, I thought I'd be able to just knock that guard down and just carry on, but I apparently went through him. Oh my god, this guy is deaf. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right, one of those hostages is Ames. You don't say. Oh, there he is. Ames. Your Ames, aren't you? You're Ames, aren't you? Hopefully do it right this time, actually get the button first, then shoot the guy. At least that was a slightly better segment than last time. Those Claymore Fields is the bane of my existence. Oh, yes. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> no, Raiden's not all right. Raiden's been blown to smithereens. There we go. <laughs> that was just brilliant. Raiden's not all right. Raiden's all over the place. Here. There's bits of him here, bits of him there. The bits on the ceiling, part of his leg just fell in the ocean. <laughs> there we go. That was a better Harry than last time. Oh, I thought I wasn't going to make that then. It's always the thing with that little jump. It's a super risky one. Let's get our so come out. I actually have to... Man, there's a lot of ciphers on this bit. Just to be safe. Ooh. That almost messed up. <laughs> At least it was almost and not an actual mess up. What, what is that? Thank you for not going forward, Mr. President. To be fair, he's only gone forward on me once. But it is a pain in the butt when he does do I that. Wish. He's gonna be getting hit by the Nikita. This is car. <laughs> I just love the abrupt cut to just a dead president on the floor. <laughs> what happened to the president? Psst, dead. I'm just hoping for a good vamp like we had the last run. 
I mean, it's been the only time I've actually been able to pull off the stinger trick. So it probably won't work this time around. I'll get through. There we go. Get the door. There we go. These segments like that are why I really want to start running the PC version because you can just put a turbo on. Either that or I get a turbo controller. No, didn't pull it off. We gotta do this the slow way. I like this way, it's fun. Makes me forget that there are actually boss battles in this game. Get away from the edge, because I have accidentally drowned myself before. Where are you gonna come up? Shame we couldn't get the stinger trick on Vamp, but at least it's still good time. I don't know if that even counts on the glitchless category. There's so many weird little quirks in this game. I mean, it's technically not a glitch or a skip or anything like that. It's just, just kind of cheese the fight. I feel like this controller is going to need a new B button just from how much I end up using it in this game. Like, hey, these right. buttons are rated for millions of button presses. So Give it to a speedrunner, it'll last five seconds. Okay, decent swim there. Let's not get caught in the wall this time. Yeah, but I actually remember the route this time. Look up through this room. <laughs> that's what got me spotted last run, is I ended up going the long way around and forgot that that guard's yawn doesn't last forever. I mean, it has been over a month since I've actually done any kind of running on this game, so it's expected to be a little bit rusty. Can I just get around this guy? Because he has spotted me several times in the past. Okay. We're good. Apparently I don't need to get that second thing. My anxiety is just like, no, it's right there, but yeah. See, if he just flies away, he's good. He's safe. And get her in the little box. There we go. Need to take you to the sniper section. Oh, that's co coolant. Time for sniping. Everybody's favourite part. Oh, why did you have to codec me in the middle of killing someone? How rude. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There's a lot of ciphers. We have a little chill time to the sniping music again. Seagull never stood a chance. And you're almost there. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> the one segment of the game that I have never messed up on. Emma. Because it's literally just shoot Vamp in the shins until he dies. And I messed up. Brilliant. To be honest, I should have just paid attention to my ammo when I was just waiting. Ah, oh, there we go. Made it to Arsenal gear. It's been a while, 57 minutes. It? Not long now. One thing I want to try, because I mean, I might be misremembering it. I think you can call Rose early and she gets you out. I might be wrong. I think that was it. Nice. <laughs> That's good to know, at least I'm not stood there waiting forever. Honestly, I wish I could just skip this whole chunk, but sadly is not possible, I don't think. Because that door leads to nowhere. <laughs> I have to remember again, this is a glitchless run. Don't do the buddy door trick. Turning around and just auto-aiming and hoping for the best. There we go. Those days during the Civil War were as real as they come. You ran from it, and now My craving you're riding. back to war oh. by something less than real. <laughs> yeah. 
a little bit scuffy, but hey. And now we end up skipping around an hour and a half worth of cutscenes. Probably two hours. It's like the longest endgame cutscenes ever. Even this codec call is massive. And again, I think MGS4 took the record, because it had like a feature length cutscene at one point. There we go. Solid ass. What's wrong with you? I mean, do you want a list? <laughs> Good work. I didn't realize I was that far down on that one. <laughs> I've hit the point with Solidus fight that I haven't even paid attention to health and just like just swing. And that's all that's taken care of. Now we have the hardest boss in the game. Nine and a half minutes worth of credits. Of I am going to take that's a quick it. bio break. I figured I may as well get myself a lozenge while I was up. Because my throat has been really icky today. Where's our current base? 119.09. I mean, that's the, that's the live split time. I think in-game time is probably going to be like 10 or 11 seconds less, so... Just under 119, for like a 118.59 maybe. Well, that's an ideal time. That's good. <laughs> and of course I broke my model. I don't really know what what more to say now. I mean that has been a pretty decent glitchless run. Now all that's left for me to do is just, just submit it to the speedrun leaderboards. Get myself a decent little position on there. Be a decent second place on speedrun.com. It's kind of a shame that there aren't more people running Glitchless. I know, like, Substance, which is the main one that people run, has still has a decent number of people running it. Yeah, HD Edition literally only has two people on the on the boards for um for Glitchless, which is D Limes and House Test, which are amazing runners in their own right. They are like right near the top of any percent. Glitchless, like this kind of time would put me in eighth place. But yeah, HD edition. It's a, it's a pretty healthy second place. I'm really hoping that with the release of the Master Collection, we actually see more people running the games. Because where it would be a lot more readily available for people. Because where it's coming on pretty much every console, you know, PS5, Xbox, Switch, PC, like. This speedrun boards are gonna just go insane. And it's only a week to go until it comes out. Great. Here we go. <clears throat> 118.56. Roaring game time there. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, I will see you guys next time.